Hi, it's Troy Rink for Denver 7. We had the first public practice today for the fans, 3,000 strong, watching the Broncos get after it. Not a lot of drama on the field. The notable event, Sean Payton's press conference off it. Usually when he said something, he said maybe a demonstrative. He really doesn't address it the next day, but he admitted today that he made mistakes in some of his quotes in the USA Day article. Remember this article, he said that Nate Hackett had one of the worst coaching jobs in NFL history during the 2022 season. Listen, Hackett did that. We know that. It's nothing we all were it's a surprise of how this played out with Peyton criticizing him. But when you're in the coaching fraternity, you typically don't mention another coach by name. The second thing where I feel like why we heard what Peyton said was a mistake, it would amounted to an apology, was because in one of the quotes that he said when it all kind of the system-wide breakdown, he mentioned the leadership from upstairs, the GM, the president. Well, listen, the GM's still here. The team president's still here. Damani Leach is involved with business operations. GM George Payton still works here for Sean Payton. So my guess is Greg Penner looked at all of this, probably sent a text or called Sean Payton and say, hey, you know, you can't criticize us here in management. Payton's had free reign to do whatever he wanted since he joined the Broncos. But I think he found there is a line you can't cross, and it's a line that we all know in the workforce. Don't really criticize your bosses. Most of us get fired if we do that. Sean Payton today for me got reprimanded. He basically said he had his Fox analyst cap on during the interview with Jared Bell of USA Today and that he should have shown more restraint. He should have had a filter. Basically, don't mention Hackett by name. Don't reference the team president and a GM in a quote. It's not necessary. But he did not back off his support of Russell Wilson or when he said he was be pissed off if this team didn't reach the playoffs. He did not change any of that. So Sean Payton, for the first time since we've covered him, had his first mea culpa. He's asked his players to be anonymous donors, to live in the shadows, and then he said, here I am stepping in it. He apologized to the team yesterday, told them that he made a mistake. It's a learning experience. As for on the field, Russell Wilson didn't look particularly sharp passing, but he did show way more mobility. He showed more mobility in this camp in this day than I think I saw all of camp last year. He's at least 10 to 15 pounds lighter. He's going to, and I asked Peyton about this. Do you want him running in seven on seven? Because most coaches don't. He said, I absolutely do, because you've got to simulate this game type atmosphere. We want him to get up and run. But this day will be remembered for the first time Sean Payton basically admitted he made a mistake, was way too candid in an article. Reporting for Denver 7, Troy Rick.